As you can see, my PCBs for the amplifier came in, and I think they turned out really well. So the silicon quality is really good, and also the uh, so, uh, the traces and everything they look really good. Solar mask is very clean too. Yeah, I really like um, the way they turned out. But as soon as I got them, I noticed that I had made a mistake, and that is, these are mounting holes. At least they were supposed to be mounting holes here, um, and I specified them too small. And there's actually a couple other things on this board um, that I noticed while testing them that unfortunately will make it necessary to change some things in the layout and um, get another set of boards made. So I'll just quickly bring in an assembled PCB and we'll have a look at that. So here's the assembled PCB and if you look closely you can already see one of the two things that is wrong with this and this is this resistor down here. On the prototype I had this even closer to the capacitor and somehow it was never really an issue. But on this version it gets... let's zoom down here... Um, it really gets quite hot and therefore I have to change this uh, resistor to a 3 watt resistor of basically the same footprint and that would still work without modifying the boards really. There are 3 watt resistors, they're just uh, physically a little larger and they stand off a little off the board. Um, and I think 3 watt would be quite sufficient because I had this running for a couple hours, and the resistor gets quite hot, um, but it's really not that bad. And I suspect it would work with a 2-watt resistor, if, and it would be quite fine if the heat problem um, wouldn't compound with the heat radiated from the tube down, and then also the airflow being restricted by these two capacitors here. So that's the first change that I'd have to make, is making this resistor either a little larger but then you get less power and uh, have a different sort of biasing point and everything, or just using a 3 watt resistor. And then the second thing that's a little more problematic is this, as it is, oscillates quite a bit if you don't have these modifications on here. And the problem is that um, these compound vacuum tubes they are well known to be quite temperamental and to oscillate a lot. And what you usually do to remedy this is to put what's called a grid stopper on there. But I didn't do this on this design for some reason. I think I, did, I didn't because I forgot them in the, in the initial prototype. And it worked quite well with, um, with this. But for some reason it doesn't um, with these PCBs. So, let's just see what changes I made here. So, if you remember this is the schematic from before, from the last video. And what I did is basically I added this resistor here, and this capacitor, and I added this capacitor. I had a grid stopper on here already, but um, it's a little too... Um, it's a little too small with the internal capacitance of the tube. So either you add more capacitance here or you make this resistor um, a lot larger. And if I get uh, basically revision two made, I'd, I'd opt for putting an additional capacitor here. Um, for these boards, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll make this resistor here um, larger, put a larger value in here. And then I'd only have to add one resistor and capacitor here because this doesn't have a grid stopper at all in the initial design. So what I did is basically I cut this trace, put the resistor across, and then just soldered two capacitors from the two grids to ground. And that works quite well. So 
I think I have to um, think about a way to best put this on here without too much work because I have 10 of these boards and I'd really like to use them and not to just throw them away. So I'd have to think about a clever way of adding this. What I could basically do is just either put a smallish capacitor across these two leads or put basically an SMD cap between here and then also between here and then just cut this stress and add the resistor. I think there's no way of getting around um, cutting that trace and putting that resistor in. So here's the final modifications I made to this. As you can see, the resistor is still there here, and I just bridged over some 0402 SMD caps here and there. Um, I wasn't particularly keen on using 0402, but it was the only SMD caps that I had. Um, uh, the only 200 picofarads um, that I had. So if I actually do this to another board, I'd probably order larger ones, um, like 1206 or something like that, because it's much easier doing that. Um, and the other modification is I replaced the large caps that I had on here with these much smaller ones. Because I have 330 nanofarads. And to my ear, I can't really discern any difference. Um, it, it actually sounds a little better with these than with the large ones. Um, I've yet to test it on a, on a single generator. But um, these might be cutting off the low a little more. Um, when it shoots this okay enough because um, I think with the um, resistor and the caps on there it might be actually um, a little rich in the low um, at least that's what I thought um, when I tried it so <clears throat> anyway it doesn't make much difference to the sound these are much smaller and cheaper and they'll uh, make it possible to um, reduce the board size size in the second revision um, quite quite a lot because these take all, um, take almost half of the space on the board. So um, that's something I'll change. <clears throat> and then also, I'll probably change these um, terminals here to actual solder points because I'm going to use them with either these hooks or I'll just solder sort of wires in directly. Um, I don't really like those um, screw blocks all that much because they always tend to come loose. And um, I actually had on high voltage connections, even with the larger ones like this, I had arc over at times. Uh, it's just a bit of a mess. I um, really like just soldering the wires on directly if it's going into something. Um, the third note is that... This board only works up to 250 volts input. Um, I actually learned that when I was trying this with um, this power supply. And I had it on a Variac. And Variac was set a little hot. Um, and so the input voltage to this was 250, 260. Which rectified it up to about 300 volts or more, even on the load. And um, I suddenly got arcing in the tube and everything. So the transformer you pick for this should be one um, that puts out maximum 230 um, AC. Um, probably less would be even better. Um, I tried this and it works really w reasonably well down to about 150 volts and that's really the sort of region this tube is made for um, this isn't an extremely high voltage tube this was <clears throat> designed for um, television receivers I think and they usually use the hot chassis and not a, um, a large transformer to boost up the voltage so they'd be running at about 200 volts anyway um, 
Yeah, so that's basically all the modifications for that. Um, and so I redesigned the board and I arrived at this. And this is scaled up by a um, factor of 1.5. This is 60 millimeters. So this side is about this size. Um, and as you can see now, it's rectangular. Um, so I reduced basically the size by about a half. Um, well, it's pretty good. Um, there's smaller capacitors play a huge role in that. Um, I might change some component um, orientations, um, but I think this is pretty close to the to um, the final version. And also, I put proper screw mounts on there. One, two, three, four. These are um, M3 now, which should work fine instead of the tiny holes. It's actually because I uh, miscalculated the um, value for these. So, okay. Um, will be better in the next version. Um, an additional thing, yeah, I changed the screw blocks here. Um, I put these a little closer together. So, um, and I've written on here 150 to 200 volts. You could drive it up to 250, but um, while you get more more output power, it's really better to keep it below 200. Um, it actually sounds a little better. So, um, I think I sent this to the board house, get new boards made. Um, and then I'll never have to design um, an amplifier in my life, because I wouldn't know where to put these 10, and then another 10 of this revision. Um, 